Hello, 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 all my beautiful, amazing, fantastic machine heads. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to episode number 12 on the Carl TG Map Tour Challenge on the Rainy Woods Map. My name is Fury Machine Gaming, and welcome, welcome in. We have a lot to do today. First and foremost, we've got to feed our cows. We'll go ahead and clean the the pen and get our rocks like we normally do off camera uh, but we've got our harvest ready guys we're ready we're ready we're ready we've got some oats that are ready as you guys can see right over here our first field of oats is ready to go so let's get the cows some food and then we can go ahead and start our harvest our first harvest on the rainy woods map so this is going to be absolutely awesome i'm hoping that this trailer works in this pen i have yet to try it we also, um, as you guys saw from the last episode, we went ahead and mowed and put some in here. Uh, we have 365,000 liters of TMR now, so we're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and fill this right off the bat so that they can have it for, this will be two days worth. There we go. Pull it forward. So how's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are doing awesome. And I hope you guys are doing fantastic as usual because I am. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome in, everybody. I can't believe we're on episode number 12 already. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, so you guys are seem to be enjoying the little bit of AKA time lapse, lapse, but they're not really time lapse. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of playing the game and then uh, playing it for 20 minutes as I normally would. Um, and then coming in and putting some music to it, muting it. Um, I record those on my lunch, which is pretty cool. I sit down on my um, laptop and I record it because um, I can't get to my PC because a lot of times I'll just take the laptop with me in the tractor if we're working out in the field and I'll pop it open and when I'm eating my lunch and I will make us a video. Um, but then once we get calmed down and everything starts to slow back down again, we will come back to these kind of videos. But it's the best of both worlds. Everybody's happy. Everybody's getting still getting videos out. And it's not crazy like 9,000 miles an hour. It's literally um, just playing like I normally would right now. So you guys can see it. So there we go. 150,000. They take 70,000 liters a day. So this will be two full months. So this will get us July and August, which is kind of cool. Um, and we've got 135,000 liters of milk. Um, we're doing well. We're doing well. We've got a, I think our milk container holds 200,000. We also have cleared. Let me show you guys. Grab my mouse. We've cleared 2,400 trees. We're on episode 12, so we're right on the money. Um, we've played 19 hours and 41 minutes so far, and we are ready and ready and ready. There we go. I'm hoping this works. I've never used this trailer in here, so we're going to hopefully get this. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is perfect because this, this will be two full days. We can use this in here. And then I will start the harvest, and then I will go ahead and clean the pens and everything right off camera so that you guys don't have to see that. Um, then I'll finish the field, get it all ready, and then next month. So what I'm going to do is every month we're going to have a harvest to do, which is going to be kind of epic. Um, and then in between we'll mow. Now what we did is let me show you guys real quick what I've got going on here. Let's get this flight mode up here so you guys can see. There we go. 4X speed is good enough. We are all the way down here in the corner. As you can see, we've... Uh, we're, we're getting quite the little farm, but this is the extent of our farm. Now we're just going to clear trees. So as you can see, our outer edge is going to be our grass. And what I did is I went right around the corner here, and we're going to continue this grass right into our last field right here. And then we're going to have three fields of oats. So if we take one month, get it all done, the next one one month, this one all one, one month, then we can mow in the three months and then go right back to a harvest. And then, as you can see how far I've actually cleared the trees, this is pretty epic. So what I'm doing now is, since we don't have to create any more fields, what I'm going to do is just um, cut the trees down and paint, paint grass on it so that we know where we are. So we also have our mine here and our uh, lime machine, which is pretty cool. But that's it. That's the extent of the farm. Let me bring this up so you guys can see where we're at. This is now our farm right here. These one, two, three, four fields, and then the grass goes around the edge of the field. 
Um, <clears throat> sorry as I clear my throat. But that's it, guys. Now we just let our cows, every year, we're going to just sell off the cows and buy another 100. So when we start year number three, we will go to 300 and so on and so forth all the way up. Um, until we get our thousand cows and then that's one goal that we've gotten as you can see I started clearing over here on the other side because I'm going to clear this section here worth of light trees so that we're to the power lines and that's it but 2400 trees already just to there I mean this has been crazy how many trees are on this map it's absolutely great actually it's be great we'll turn that off and then we'll turn this off and we will go grab our uh, wagons now they got enough for two months now normally on a normal let's play i would go ahead and feed the cow or i would feed the cows then i would clean their pen and get their um get the stones loaded up and then we're done but i want to i want to get a harvest going on camera so that gives us like i said earlier that gives us now enough for two months One hundred fifty thousand is perfect i can then load this right back here now the 6r now has been downgraded to just a farm tractor at this point so let me get this right there and get her close because we're going to need straw right away soon there we go and that's it so now the 6r that we had originally which was which was our big tractor is now a farm tractor and we have the 7r which is going to be hooked up real quickly here but first and foremost let's grab us a harvester and start doing this let's go Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is great. This is exciting that we can actually start harvesting for a change. Um, and we're just doing this game speeds. We're not doing this anything realistic-wise um, right now. Um, maybe the next Let's Play or FS20. Um, let's see. Yep, there we go. Tune this and then unfold this. Get her set up. And as you see, what I did also is I widened the roads around so that a worker can... Um, pick this up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start doing a couple of headlands and then i think actually you know what let's get down here and take him down and we'll do uh the end headlands and i think he's got enough down here um and then we'll set a worker off we'll just set a work a regular worker as you can see up in the right hand corner we have no problem making money on this on this let's play um because wood chips sell for so great i wonder why that didn't seed right there it's kind of weird so what we're going to do is we're going to get everything reset for um, every field. So we're, when we get done harvesting this, this should give us straw. Nope. Let's uh, turn that. There we go. Now we can get straw because we're going to need it. And remember, originally this was one field. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our... Um, we're going to set him off once I come back here because I think he's got enough room down at the other end. Um, and then set him off on a worker. And then when he's full, we can go on and load it. Otherwise, we're going to start collecting straw, put it right into the um, um, the pen for the, for the straw. So let's get us a second one done here. So we don't want to drive on this. But what a, a f uh, fun little, amazing little kind of series to go to finish up the um, FS22. It's been kind of fun. Episode 12 already. It's absolutely crazy. There. Now that should give him enough room. And then we're going to... What I like to do is start him... Well, it should, it should fit right there. But I like to start him on the road and work him back towards the barn. Because that way, a lot of times what would happen in an FS19 is you would start the... Um, the worker off and a lot of times if it wasn't correct it would um if the field wasn't wide enough it would just go ahead and keep harvesting and i don't want them to harvest that that field there we go let's i just want to get these gone because these are in my grass section here there we go there now see what i mean is i'm going to start them down this way and work back now what we're going to do is once the field is um done then we're going to spread our um fertilizer then our lime then our fertilizer again then we're probably going to recultivate it and uh get it going like that or what we may do is uh fertilize it cultivate it lime it fertilize it again and then seed it what we may do um let's get him going and bang let's see what he does here and in the turn we're gonna go over and get our six 
So where's our 7R? Where's our 7R? Right here. We want to get... Oh, she's in here. I thought she... Oh, it's fertilizer. Yep, I don't want that. I want to get that. And go get us our straw picker-upper. Right over here. Now, I think what I'll do is when I get to... Since we're really good on money and everything's going good now. I don't like how this grabs this like that. But this is also a modded tractor too. So it may be the modded tractor. Um, cause the PTO doesn't even hook up or it might be the Omatanis. We don't know. Um, but what we're going to do, I think is when we get to year three, I want to switch off of this and switch to bales just because, um, we can constantly change. If you know what I mean, let's, uh, let's just keep changing and evolving and doing that sort of thing. There we go. I've got this set up at just game speed. So she's going to fly right along at 14 miles an hour, which is kind of cool. It's got a wide pickup on it. And then we can just start getting some nice straw. And then when he gets close to full, then we can uh, grab the 6R with the trailer on it and go like that. There we go. Perfect. I'm not used to going 14 miles an hour, but what do you do? See, because this had, this had grass painted here. And I know, I know what happened. Um, I was monkeying around with an air seeder that literally doesn't use, um, uh, like any, it doesn't touch the ground or anything like that. So what was happening is, um, when I spun it around to plant the grass, it sprayed it out there, which happens. There we go. And now we can keep up with him and he's at 21%. You don't get very much yield from oats, but we're not doing it for that. We're doing it because, and then what we're going to do is we're going to change from oats to sorghum and go back and forth, or maybe even just another different crop. We'll see. Um, yeah, he's not going to do that. And I thought it was going to be, I should have put a headland down here. Because I might have to just run up the edge of that. I'm done with it. So, yep, well, then we'll fertilize, and then we'll cultivate, and then we'll... Fertilize again, and then we'll lime. Um, and that way we'll be able to tell where we can seed. But we don't. it doesn't really matter because we, you, can, you can still tell. But we're not going to get... We're, we're doing okay on yield on this. This was fully... This field was fully ready. Oh, yeah. See now? So when he gets down here, let's switch him off for a minute and then do an extra headland down there so that we can... Um, he can turn around and have fine because it looked like just two headlands. All I really need is one because he's only missing the edge. So, there we go. Let's ride along with him for a minute. Uh, and then I think what we might do is once we, he's doing okay right now, but, uh, let's do this. Let's, um, fire him for a minute. We'll bring him back. I promise. And then while he's still filling, because he's still got a ways to go, we will go start cleaning the manure out. And that way everybody's happy. Yep, I'm going to come down here and do this here. And that way he can just harvest away. And I only need one headland, I think, to be honest. But we'll, we'll go up and back. This Crisoni header is nice. Anybody, I recommend this header to anybody. Uh, it is a mod, uh, but it is the it is the foldable Crisoni 7.6 meter, and I would recommend that to anybody who wants to use it on a small to medium sized farm. Um, and it's because you can get like, especially if you're doing the UK. I can't believe I just went around the corner like that and didn't wait. Um, if you want to get in those tight gates for um, like the UK version map. You can, you can do that. You can do it. You can do it. But yep, that's where we're at now with the farm, and we won't have to add, um, add any more fields because um, we're going to finish July with this field, and then August that field, then September that field, and what I may do is get them all set up so that I'm uh, the next field I'm mowing. Um, I have still have to get that field down there ready to go, and this is what I should have done. Waited for a second. There we go. And then we're going to go back to where he was and put him on. And he'll finish. 
And then let's go collect some manure up there so we can put it in the trailer. Um, actually, yeah, I might be able to get it done and emptied. There we go. He's all set. Now we'll come in here. Start that up. Get these all set up. So we're doing two things at once now. See how it works? It's, it's actually like now it's not getting so... Whoops. <laughs> it's not pretty... It's pretty cool. I like this map a lot because I've always enjoyed maps that you can um, uh, do a bunch of different things. You always got something to do. As I concentrate, as you can tell. But it's making us about, with 200 cows, it makes us about 40,000 liters a day of manure. So at 400 cows, it's going to make us 80,000 liters of manure at, you know, and so on and so forth. So we're going to end up making probably a couple hundred thousand liters of manure every, whoops. There we go. Uh, probably a couple hundred thousand liters of manure every single day, which is about 100,000 liters of fertilizer. And then eventually we're just going to be able to sell this thing. And that's pretty much what we're going to have to do with the slurry too. Um, I probably will put a, um, a cell point. Unless you guys... Now, if you guys want um, me to put like a dairy factory down or something like that, let me know in the comments. Um, and I'll do it because I'm at the point now where uh, we don't need money for sure. But we definitely just need more things to like do, if you know what I mean. There you go. I love oats because they're not very good yield. And so that you can turn the harvester loose and let them go. Um, this, these dozers also, if, if you can see, look up in the right-hand corner underneath the, the, the money. It also will do terraform too. There we go. There's 24,000 and maybe 32,000 a day, not 40. And then we'll, we'll zip over. We'll get our rocks done and then we'll be pretty much wrapped up for the day. Then I will literally finish this field um, off camera. And then when we come back next time, and then I will also get, when we go to the next day, I'm trying to do all the trees as much as I can off camera. But now that I'm using the Brooks, we can bring back at least one episode of just trees so that we can chit chat and do some trees. Um, I'm doing 200 trees a day. So after episode for next one, episode number 13, we will have to have 2,600 trees in the bank. So we're doing well, we're doing well. Down here. Now this little monoslope um, cow barn is absolutely epic, except that it's not little. It's big. Here's that. So then we're gonna tab over to here. Get this on. So we're doing all this at the same time as getting our harvest done, and then we will grab. Um, we have to grab that manure and get it. There we go. I've had this where it just keeps filling and filling, and you end up with this ginormous pile of rocks here. This is a that um, little mine that I'm using is um, it's supposed to go into a side of a mountain, or you can just place it. As you can see, it still works. It works really well. There we go. Sixteen thousand liters so far of stone, which is about eight thousand liters of uh, lime every single day. Every day, and you don't use lime all the time. We will, we'll start using it more and more now, but um, I'm using Mark Thor's uh, fertilizer spreaders for um, our stuff that we got. There's that it. Perfect. Now we're cleaned up with that. Now we can go grab some straw, and then we'll actually let's tab back over and we will empty the manure so that we can come and empty the. Um, the trailer so he can keep going then we'll go back to picking up straw and then after that well we got about 30 seconds left so let me dump this in here and then shut all the tractors down and get us by so see in 20 minutes you can get multiple things done you just got to go right along there we go dump that in there 32,000 liters awesome shut that down unfire him shut him down and then shut this down 
There we go, guys and gals. We made it to the end of episode 12. So as usual, please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like and subscribe and share, share, share. Hit the little notification ding, ding, bell so you get notified when Fury drops a video, 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 video. Be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you are watching this. And remember, I love, love, love you all, and I will catch you right back here on the flip side. Okay, so real quick, going to finish harvesting here gonna get the straw up gonna uh, fertilize spread then we're gonna cultivate then we're gonna lime fertilize spread again and then we can no we'll fertilize spread after we cultivate lime and then we'll seed and then we'll do our 200 trees off camera and then come back the next day and start this harvest here then this will be in the ground and we're ready to go all right guys i went about a minute over so have a wonderful wonderful day and i will see you guys on the next one